Oh, okay. So, <laughs> so to keep her away, I mean, like, hand up any time to keep her off you, but if, if she crowds you, that sort of shield, elbow up, hand up. Then that way I can actually push her. Mm -hmm. If she pushes into me, I'm actually using structure against yeah. getting, getting, getting bowled over. Or if she gets really crowdy and she really, or she gets panicky and wants to really run over top of you, a, a, a slap there. Doesn't yeah. hurt, doesn't, yeah. doesn't affect anything, but it just kind of like, ugh. So they will really lay off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And to get her, to <laughs> practice that a little bit more often, just walk into her. Yeah. You know, hand on neck, push. With this little contact. She knows about pushing around. I think we pushed the crap out of her when she was three, because that's all we could do. Yeah. But, <laughs> yeah. you know. She responds well to it. She understands it, yeah. yeah. So give her the yeah. opportunity. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, exactly. So you don't need to be hands on, but you can do it no, without yeah. hands yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And lots and lots of walls in your space. Yeah. yeah. See, I tend yeah. to do that too. It's like a creation, Frame. it's like a barrier. This is my space is yours. Yeah. And you can actually make it back off from there. Yeah. Oh, God, he really hurt himself. He's like three legged lying. Yeah, she's not happy. Yeah. Wow. So forward, stop. Or the other way to back off is to just put a finger on the, on the chest. And if necessary, just reinforce that a little bit. And back. And as soon as she does it, press her off. Yeah? And that's it. And just keep that keeps her respectful of yeah. you too. Yeah. You know, keeps her looking for you. Do you know, I was just gonna ask you this, Chris, I was just